to men with beards. Have you ever seen those like <laughs> side by side? Like it's really deceptive to see a guy Sometimes, that has a yes. big beard and then if they get rid of it, they're like, mm-hmm. I mean, look totally different, completely yeah. different. Yeah. Well, as somebody who has a beard, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so I, I do have to give a bit of pushback on this. They're not comparable. Now you can certainly hmm. you can make the argument that a man, for example, and to be good faith and charitable, a man who has a weak chin, for example, he can grow a beard mm-hmm. and hide his weak chin. However, it's very different for, for one, makeup's just, it's not natural, yeah. right? Also, I would argue most makeup typically tends to be apply, applied on the top half of the face, typically. That's where the primary, I mean, there's lipstick and shit, but mostly it's the top half of the face. I would argue that when it comes to beauty and physical attraction, someone's top half of their face is a much, is going to contribute much more to how somebody is going to be attracted to you than the bottom half of your face. So you said if a man has a weak chin, what about if a woman has weak eyebrows or bags under her eyes that are just genetic? Yeah, like my eyeball, uh, my so, eyebrows are balding, so I fill them in. You know, or people people that are oncology patients that they don't have. Yeah. Here, any, let me ask you a question. Right? Let me let's talk about hair. Yeah. So <laughs> I do think it's different because uh, one, makeup is not. It's it's fake. It's like artificial. it's not yeah. like it's not hair natural. like yeah. hair is within the realm of grooming whereas makeup is something totally different but let me ask you a question. If a man was balding for example and he was wearing a hat. Oh, I've called plenty of those out too. Do you, you think that's disingenuous? <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't think because that's... I, and well, I Well if that's disingenuous then you have to concede that women wearing makeup is disingenuous. Too much makeup. Yes, I any agree. Any makeup any makeup I don't, would be I, disingenuous. I disagree. I mean, then clothing, too. Like, we're, we're talking no. about everything we put externally on our body at this sure. point. I think, I think, I so mean. So we should just walk around naked like Adam and Eve, and then we know mm-hmm. the whole package. Well, so I, I think true. we can admit it is disingenuous, but at the same time, um, we live in a culture and society that really does not accept us as we are. And so at the same time, you can call a woman out and blame the woman for, oh, she's, she's trying to look different than she actually looks. You know, we have to call out a culture that puts the pressure on the woman to look a different way. So, like, go ahead and blame me for wearing makeup and, you know, wearing a push-up bra or whatever else I'm doing. But at the same time, like, blame the society that makes me feel like I have to have these things. Like, it's, it's yeah, I take but responsibility women, and they women do too. Women have agency and you can, I mean, yes, there is certainly pressure on women. I can, I'd actually be prepared to argue there's actually a greater pressure on men when it comes to this. But... Uh, in a sense, yes, I, I would agree with that. But but at the same time, I, I mean, like, yes, I have agency. But if I show up in my natural self, nine times out of ten, the men are not going to pick it. And it's unfortunate so, they can preach all they want about authenticity, mm-hmm. but what they actually do in practice is completely opposite. Well, sure. So, I for, example, for example, hold on. Let's Let me give you an example then. Let's say I worked at McDonald's, yeah. but it was uh, expedient for me to lie on my dating profile and say I was a doctor and attorney, women tend to find these professions very attractive. And I would argue most women who are perhaps in their late 20s, early 30s, probably wouldn't date a guy who works at McDonald's, even if he's otherwise a great guy or even attractive. They wouldn't maybe take him seriously as a long-term prospect. Now, it would get me the girl to lie and Mm -hmm. say that I'm an attorney, I'm a lawyer, Mm -hmm. I'm a doctor, when I'm not, that doesn't mean it's right to do. So your argument that, well, well I if I right. did show, hold on, hold on, but you, right. your argument though was, well, if I did show up without makeup, the men would find me less attractive. If I was on the dating apps and I didn't use filters and I didn't wear makeup, mm-hmm. less men would swipe on me. I'd get less dates. Well, well I can make that same dates. argument about with, the deceptive practices that men make use. Make the same argument with a guy who's balding. Yeah, but I. Like, but here's the thing. Yeah, like, for me, like if he, I, to, in order for this bald man to get more likes or more yes, matches, yes. Hey, let's throw a cap on. Yes, I totally yeah, agree. Yeah. So, and, but uh, all but of a sudden, but if he takes his hat off, I'm going to be understanding and compassionate, and that's the difference. Would you prefer? I think, would you prefer well, to date a guy with a full head of hair? I really wouldn't care. I want really? a good man. Genuinely, okay. I really yeah. want a good Most man. Most women would prefer. I'll tell to you. Date a man. So, ten okay. years ago, so ten years ago, yes, I, mean, I would have so, cared. Yes, exactly. that is anecdotal. I'm different now. So, I mean, that's awesome for you. Awesome yeah. that you are at a place in your life where you're not going to judge a man for being yeah. bald. That's that's great. I think more women should be like mm-hmm. you. But well, thank you. <laughs> statistically, just like on yes. average, population yes. average, 
Uh, Women will care. It's, it's, they will demonize men for putting a hat on if they're bald. Yeah. Like covering yeah. up those things that they are insecure about. Yeah. When they're doing the exact same thing, yes, just with different... But this is what I'm saying. So instead of like... I'd like to say something to that. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I so I mean, instead of trying to demonize men and accost them for, oh, you're hiding your uh, the things that you're insecure about, maybe you should sit back, be like, what if I were in his shoes? Mm-hmm. I am in his shoes, actually, because mm-hmm. I'm covering stuff up. Yeah, I, and that's how I personally feel yeah. at this awesome. age and this place in my life. I, I totally get it. Listen, I, I've got things that make me not as authentic on my dating profile, whatever. But I also call myself out on it. I frequently will post things that don't have a filter and say, this is a filter every time someone compliments it. But uh, listen, like I, I understand men have the same pressure, but what I'm saying is, a lot of times on this podcast, you guys want to like come at the women for the things that they do and put on that are fake and whatever. But, and, and the thing is like men are doing it to us and we are doing it to them. And so what I'm saying is a 50, 50 thing. If we could all just cut the bullshit and be our real authentic selves, but I don't know that that's going to happen. I, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. And that's why, you know, the greatest compromise and the best service that you can do to the public like dating scene is you know if you're insecure about hairline or about skin or whatever post a couple of like your best self when you feel your best but then post a couple of authentic ones too no filter no makeup how do i look when i go camping or how do i look like first thing in the morning or a gentleman that wants to wear like baseball caps because he hates his balding hair but at least sneak one in there where you're like Mm -hmm. hey my hair is not perfect (laughs) yeah Yeah. I, i give a different prescription like just don't care about social media what if it's not seven. Seven. It's not I know, it's not I know. Social, social media. media. It's, a, it's my, I can tell you all the comments that I've received about my physical appearance that have led me to want to change this or that have been said to me in real life, yeah. at mm. school, at work, at church, at all the places I've been. That's where I've received so, the most comments. Okay, I understand comments. that that's your experience. Yet again, anecdotal. Social media is a big so, problem, but. Since the in- inception of social media, all of these negative mm-hmm. uh well, mental or disorders have skyrocketed. Yes. Anxiety. Yes. Like how people perceive me, I all of a sudden I care about that way more. Mm-hmm. Not saying that it wasn't a factor because we're social animals. We care about what people think of us. Yes. But it when you amplified. start when you start pr- putting yourself out there on social media, on dating apps, mm-hmm. on the internet, all of a sudden that that care becomes amplified. And yes. Yeah. I, I understand it's easier said than done, but if you really wanted to fix that problem, that's that's how you would well, fix it. Well, what I'll say for one, one thing quickly is that um, I never had an insecurity about how I looked until I started using filters. Mm-hmm. And now when I see myself in the phone camera, I was t- a year ago, I was posting pictures just as I am, no makeup, whatever. And then I started using a filter just for fun. Just I never had used them, never used Snapchat. And now it's like I see my face without a filter, and it's like, holy crap, what the hell is that? It's like instant Botox. Yes. As yes. you get old, I know you ladies probably don't feel it as much, but when you 10 get older, years down the line, things change. And I swore, I was that girl, I'm like, oh, I'll take care of myself. It'll be great. I'll never look like that. Do you, on your dating app, do you have any photos with filters? I have like three with filters, and I think two without filters. Any without makeup? Uh, I have uh, the one, but it has a filter on it. Yeah. Um, but okay. There's also on my social media videos of me recently crying after a hair bleach fail. No makeup, no filter. What? Just be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I mean, look, when it comes to this whole inauthentic thing, um, I would argue though on dating apps, for example, absolutely. There are men who are going to post photos that are maybe not representative of what they look photos from when they're younger. Uh, maybe even filters. I will say somebody myself who was on dating apps, uh, the, I, I can't speak from the girl's perspective. I'm sure there's guys who post mm-hmm. filtered photos. I would suspect that the incidence rate of men posting deceptive photos is far less yeah. It's so women. much more common than you think, though. Being it on could. my side, it, like literally seeing a man with multiple well, filtered pictures. What was your age range on the dating apps? Because I do know like older guys, 
like that demographic is oh probably God. a bit more likely to no, use filters. I, whereas like a 25 year old guy. My age group. Well, I mean, I'm not going to date a 25 year old, right? Right. Like, but you're I'm probably 35. dating like 35 to yeah. 45. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Those but guys, even I, one I do filtered, know will use photo, uh, even filters. like one filtered photo to me is just like, that's just, it's pretty it just, cringe. Yeah, yeah, it's super cringe. cringy. Yes. It's like red flag number one. Like, the, did you have any filtered photos though? No. Okay. No. A lot Good of women though. Like, I, I, I get you, that feedback. I could pull up a dating app oh, right yeah. now. We could look at the the women. And there are a lot of women that are not even on there for dating. They're just there to promote their oh, only yeah. 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 or their socials anyway, or things can, like that. We can so. come back to the makeup thing. I do yeah. want to continue going around. Yeah. On the uh, relationship status, we haven't finished that up. What about you? Go ahead. 